Hello and welcome back for another Gala Games price prediction update and in this video I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the Gala Games chart and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording Gala Games is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also continued to hold above a key area of support at around the $0.0274 mark, which is also acting as support for us to continue gearing up. And in this video, I want to start the video by first giving you my long-term outlook here on the Gala Games chart. So if I zoom out, you can see that after seeing the December lows down there, we started a 5 wave structure to the upside, having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the $0.06304 mark in a move that completed the formation of that larger area to have count 1. Then we started a corrective structure in the formation of this larger area to have count 2. And in the formation of this larger area to have count 2, using the Fibonacci's, connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retracement area for that wave 2 between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which is an area that lies between the 0 $0.03917 mark and the $0.02561 mark the area highlighted on the charts using this blue target area and it is within this blue target area that I was expecting to see the low for that wave 2 where I was also expecting to see an ABC corrective structure also play out and you can see that at the time of this recording we have fully maximized this blue target area suggesting that there are high chances that Gala Games has now been able to put in place the law for this second wave and is now ready for a massive pump in the formation of this wave 3 and assuming that Gala Games is not going to give us one more leg down in the formation of this wave 2 I can give you a minimum target area for that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then drag the Fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a minimum target area at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.10415 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do and also expect to see a 5 wave structure also play out having the wave 5 fully maximizing our minimum target areas we also need to have in mind that in case further breakdown continues here on the Gala Games chart then that would be suggesting that maybe the low for this second wave is not yet in and maybe we are going to see one more leg down within this blue target area and what that could suggest is that whatever we have in the formation of this wave C is a 5 wave structure where we can count these as the wave 1 then a wave 2 a wave 3 then a wave 4 and then we can expect one more leg down in a move that could possibly take us back to the area at around the $0.025 mark before we can fully confirm that the low is in then expect our massive pump in the formation of that wave 3 so that is what I'm expecting here on the Gala Games chart on the short term point of view basing it on the editor structures so let's continue keeping our eyes on the key areas of support at around the $0.02737 mark because if by any chance we lose that then that would be suggesting one more leg down in the formation of this wave 2 and as long as we continue holding above it chances are we are going to explode very soon in the formation of this larger area to count 3 also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI we are trading at around the 53 mark fully supporting higher prices also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated